Hello and welcome back to George's Gaming Guys. Today me and Dad are going to be building the brand new Indiana Jones Temple of the Golden Idol, set number 77015, and this is made out of 1,445 pieces. So this set actually comes with four minifigures. Um, I would have thought at least three of these would be unique. The, the one that isn't was probably going to be Indiana Jones. I presume it's going to be the same minifigure across the, the new sets that have been released. Um, so starting from this side, so we have Satipo, then we have Indiana Jones, we have Belloc, and then uh, Tavis Ass Warrior. Um, and the, the minifigures look really nice actually, I do like the Indiana, Indiana Jones one. And the Satipo looks really nice detail as well. Um, the set itself is actually quite large. So the width of this is 20 inches or 51 centimetres. Uh, it's 23 centimetres or 9 inches high and 7 inches or 19 centimetres deep. So it's yeah, it's a good good size set, um, especially for the size of pieces being at 1,500 pieces. So as you can see from this, it actually displays the, the, the temple that you see at the start of the first film. Um, so over this side, you've got the idol, which must be a unique piece because it actually resembles the idol from the film pretty yeah. well, doesn't it? Um, and then I think there's plenty of play features, so you can have them swinging across the pit. And then there's some traps you have in, looks like the ball rolls down and everything. So and it's... there's a uh, LED light in the top to light show oh, yeah, as if it's shining yeah. on the boulder. On the boulder? No, on the idol. Yeah, of course the idol, yeah. Wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> so if I have a quick look at the back, it's a, it shows a couple of the play features. They've actually got the scene where Indy's on to reach underneath the, the door that's closing. Uh, being chased by the boulder, um, Satipo's having to swing over the um, vine, uh, swing over the pit with the, I think he uses the whip to swing across. Uh, then you've got a couple of scenes from the film, as, well, scene from the film, sorry, with the idol and then represents it in the, the Lego. So that's really good. And I think this is just going to be a really fun set to build. Yeah. So, I say there, there are, I think it's three sets that have come out at the same time. So you've I got, believe so, yes. Yeah, so you've got this one, the one with the, the plane from um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade with um, Sean Connery. And then I think the one's... Is that supposed to be the temple from the second film, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, I, I can't remember whether, which film it's from. But yeah, all, all three sets look quite nice, but this is definitely the flagship of the, yeah. of the three. Oh yeah, definitely. It's probably one of the most iconic. It's the first one is definitely the mm. most iconic movie. Um, yeah, overall, I think this set is going to be really nice. That is one and a half thousand pieces, so it is hopefully only going to take about three hours, yeah. as it's you Maybe. know one thousand five hundred pieces. You know, roughly about five hundred pieces an hour. Um, but yeah, so I guess um, with that we should get started. So uh, let's get the build going.
So we're back and this is the finished model and overall I do think that it looks really, really nice. The build was uh, reasonably smooth, wasn't too bad. So now I'm going to hand you over to Dad to go over the minifigures. Then after that we're going to go over the temple. Yeah, so we'll start off with the, the minifigures. So these are these are all quite nice to be honest. So first we start off with Tipo, who's the the guy that's with Indy in the uh, in the Temple of the Golden Idol. I so say the, the hair piece I think really suits the the, fit, the character. Um, it's got the two faces as normal. One's just a really scared. One looks a bit worried. Uh, he does have a load of spiders on his back, so I'm glad we're not in his position. And I think the print in, on his on his body is really good. It's, you can really tell he's that character from the, from the movie. Um, there is actually no arm or leg print in, which is a bit of a shame. But overall, it's it's a really nice minifigure. He does come with a, a torch as a sort of little accessory. Oops, sorry. Then I'll go to the, the Vito Warrior. I think it's Vito. Um, very nice printer on this one. It has actually got leg print in on this. He's got the sort of beads which is going down his back, um, around his front, and he's got the necklace. And it's it's a really nice figure. It does come with I'm sorry, just falling over again. Just does come with two faces again. So you've got one that's sort of a smirk and another one that's angry. Um overall, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. And then we come to the sort of the two main main characters from the the film, so first we have Belloc, and again no arm or leg printing, but I don't think you really need it on this one. There is only one side to the head because of the, the type of hat that he wears, and he, he doesn't have any hair. Uh, the printing is, is quite nice, it, it just looks, you know, he's from the army, so it's um, it just looks like a standard uniform, but overall it's, it's quite nice, and he does come with his own gun as well. So again, nice minifigure, and then we come to the can't get them to stand up, and then we come to the main one for the set, which is Indiana Jones. And I really like this. Again, there's there's a bit of leg printing, nothing on the arms. His top is just the the leather jacket it has and the the shirt underneath it. The bottom bit has got his, like his gun holster and, and belt and everything. Uh, he comes with this little satchel which he puts over one of his arms, and he's got the bag which he, he changes with the the idol to try and make the weight the same. His trusty whip. Um, his hat actually has the hairpiece built inside it. And he is a double-sided head, so the, the first one is yeah, just a, a bit of a smile, to be honest. The one on the back, he's got all webs down his face. I'm not very keen on that one, to be honest. Um, the other thing that's a bit annoying with the ones with the web down his face is when you've got his hat on, you might be able to see it when with a rotation at the side of the screen, you can actually see the web sticking out from the, the bottom of his hair. So, a little bit of an oversight there, I think, but overall, a really nice minifigure. And it's nice after sort of 15 years to to have a new Indiana Jones figure. Um, and yeah, in this great little set. So, I'll, I'll hand you over to George to, to start going through the, the actual set itself. Um, so this is the first part of the temple, which if you've seen the Indiana Jones movies, um, we all know there are lots and lots of spiders at the start of the temple. So there are two on the floor here, the one at Cobweb at the top, it's sort of like uh, moss and dirt over the floor. The outside's quite green and then you get all grey once you come into the temple. Now you may have noticed this just huge lump of grey that's there, that is supposed to be the boulder. And what you can do is if you just slightly move that, it will roll down on its own, which is quite nice. Now it is a little bit of a pain to get back up, but I do think that rolling effect is really, really nice. And it's the, see, see what I mean? A little bit of pain to get up, but yeah, it's, it is really nice. And honestly, one of my favorite parts about the set on the last section, playability feature is my favorite part about this set. Um, now if we get to here, so there's, like a, there's an open door, it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's this gap here, and if I move this, it will just close it. So, just yeah, this is, this is the scene where they, they're escaping from the temple, and, and he has to reach back to get his, his hat or his, his whip, I can't his remember. Hat. 
and then you could just, just close it like that, which is quite nice. Um, then going into this scene, this is where they use the uh, like the, the vine, but they end up using his, his whip to get across, don't they? So you can just swing it. That's literally all that does. Just yeah, it's it's all, all the pictures for the set. Set is actually got the T boat onto on this, to so you can actually have him swinging across the. I'm the, not um, sure what the this is the golden piece. Uh, What's that? Sorry? This golden wheel here. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. Just after watch the film again, it's been a long time since we've actually seen the film. Yeah, and then with the last section, there's a lot of these things with like as you'd see. There'd be certain stepping stones and they'd shoot an arrow out. Now this one on the side here, <coughs> oh sorry, um, it actually has a minifigure head on it as the um, supposedly scary beast, which is quite funny, just sticking its tongue out. Now we have the um, the, head, the idol itself and if Dad just moves that, that lights up and then if Dad wants to move it again... So if you move it the opposite direction... It's supposed to be once it's taken the idol out of the way. That was, um, and it will start collapsing. That was a pain to build, by the way. Um, yeah, it, with some of the technical, especially on the last section of this, I and that's broken from. it, what a surprise. But, yeah, I don't know where it came. I'll pull that back on afterwards because I can't remember it there. With the technical on the third section, if somebody autistic buys this, uh, this is just from my personal opinion, get somebody who isn't autistic or good with their hands to the back because I couldn't do it. Um, so it could be that you can do it and that you're more able than I am, but uh, honestly if you're autistic I'd probably get somebody else to uh, yeah. to do it. So, so to sort, sort of explain a bit more what George is talking about, if we turn the, the set round, you'll see there's quite a lot of, of Technic at the back. Um, so on the, the side that George was talking about, I say you've got the Technic B, so as, as you turn it, it, it literally just pushes this section out. There's, there's two rods that hold it in place. This um, bar comes up and pushes it forwards because the rod is too, yeah. too Technic wide. So it's actually the ball joints on oh, either yeah. side, which just sort of clip over the back and hold it in place. And it's just because it's front heavy, as it lifts it, mm -hmm. it'll just push it out. Then you also have the light brick in here, so if you do it the other way, oop, do it the other way, it pulls it down and presses onto the light brick. So it's, it's quite nice to put a double feature on the one um, one rotation thing yeah. at the start. So, Is that a triple feature? Because that moves as well. Oh yeah, the, the idle goes down, yes, as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. So the idle moves up and down when, you, when you're doing it. So on this one, it's, it's a, just a very simple lever action. This is for making the, the the swing part. This one's a bit more complicated because it actually locks into place, and this is to put the door into into that location. So, fairly straightforward movement, but yeah, so it's a little bit awkward to build. And then this one is there's a there's a lot in in this one. So it's you've actually got this sort of quarter circle, and um, this teeth circle. And then that goes down a gear which runs down it. You have just got a pin underneath it that makes sure that it can't come off. And then the way these are put together gives it the, the perfect motion for going down and allows you to pick it up. So as George says, it's a little bit stiff once you get to the top. And that's while it takes it past the point of locking. So you, you'll actually see that they actually go against each other. So it locks it in position. And once it's in that position, it's actually really sturdy. You, you have to give it bit of a turn to, to take it out but I love the way that they've, they've made it a play feature I mean it's not something we'd use as a, as a no. play set but I think it's great that they've actually put these, these sort of features into it and it's yeah. it's a good set to do it on <coughs> um, but yeah so overall I do think that this is a, a really nice set um, do be careful of the technique at the back if you do buy this I would recommend this mainly for display purposes. Um, I wouldn't use this as a playset, mainly because a lot of this is fragile. Um, I believe the, all the minifigures are unique. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they all are. Yeah, if, if any aren't, I presume it's going to be Indiana Jones in the... Because there are three sets, three sets that came out this year. I believe so, yeah. Um, 
So I'm not sure if they've made any slight differences between these. So if, if any, it's probably but he might be unique that's... because of the headpiece. Oh yes, because yeah, actually because of the webs on it. Yes, you're probably, you're right yeah. there, George. That's hmm. a good point. But yeah, so overall, I think that this is a really nice set. I would really recommend it, and uh, me personally would have it for display purposes, and that's mainly what I'd recommend it for. Um, but yeah, so thank you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, bye. If you enjoyed today's build and review video on the new Indiana Jones, the Temple of the Golden Idol, make sure that you like, subscribe, and if you want to, and tell us what you thought about it. And also, make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be my build and review on the new Aragorn and Arwen Brickheads.